hey welcome back to my youtube channel this is your girl pinky and yes i'm in the same get up because i just made a video and rather than waiting another day i decided to go ahead on and do this what's in my pelvic pain bag video okay we're going to get a little real raw and personal with this because it's um it's my survival story Okay, so this is one of the bags um, that I use for my personal care. This is one that stays in the purse. Yeah, it's, it's in a sandwich bag. I'm going to change that, but I was desperate. And then I have this one. So these bags go with me everywhere I go. This one pretty much stays in the purse. This one stays in the car. And what I want to show you is uh, what I do or trying to do to combat the pain in my pelvic area from, uh, as my neurologist said, of having been traumatized as a victim from my ex-husband from abuse. Um, the pain, as I describe it to every doctor, is a pain that feels like I've been kicked by somebody wearing a steel toe boot. And when I told one of the pain doctors, she literally cringed. She did send me off to physical therapy, but it didn't help. I did three months of torture that did not help. Actually, uh, when he put me on the bicycle, it made it worse. The only relief I did get during that three months was when I was able to get in the pool for like um, 20, 30 minutes. It was aqua therapy. And at first I was freaking out because I can't swim. So uh, after getting in the pool with him standing close by, it, it eased up. But, you know, I act like I'm a mermaid, but I ain't. <laughs> I had to eventually come out of that water. But... A few years later, still dealing with the pain, um, still going, well, I quit going because uh, I don't know about y'all doctors, but where I go, they treat everything that a woman come in the clinic with in that area as a sexually transmitted disease. <laughs> And me, my dumb self, I just look at them like, uh, can I ask you a question? That, yes, ma'am. What is it, Mrs. Moore? First of all, it ain't Mrs. no more. Second, in order to have a sexually transmitted disease, I think you have to have the key element of sex, right? Uh, yeah, that's usually how you get us. Okay, well, that's off the table, honey. Ain't nobody touching that down there. I, I don't even want to touch it because it hurts when I use the bathroom, when I'm sleeping, when I'm trying to go to sleep. It's excruciating pain i said the pain pretty much comes mostly at its highest intensity at night just when i get in that position just when i roll my hips over cross my legs close my eyes cut the light off that's when that pain say hello let's talk let's play that pain Ain't no joke. I said, so no, we 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 gonna look at something else other than sex, cause ain't, ain't nobody touching that. Okay, if they touching it, it's in their imagination. So send me outside of the clinic to another doctor closer to me. Get out there to see him, bro. Treat me worse than I got treated at the VA, and it's almost like I felt like I got raped in his office the way he was handling me. And he wanted to do a follow-up in a month. I quickly, quickly said, no, we, you're not touching me. You, I'm going I'm, to I'm figure this out. You know, I'm going I'm to do just what, just what you do. I'm going to go in my room. I'm going to pull up my phone. I'm going to pull up Google. That's what y'all do. Or I'm going to pull up WebMD. Because I, I, I live with this body 24-7, 365 days a week, a year, for the last 60 years. So, I, I got to work on this. So you see me every bit of what, five, 10 minutes and you treat me worse than what they treat me. Nah, bro. But I'm going to tell you some of the things that I um, used to try to help. It, it 
it calms it down, but it doesn't take it away. Um, I don't know if it's prudential uh, neuralgia entrapment where my nerve has been damaged down there from him violating me the way he did. Uh, I don't know. And you can't get nothing through to them. But this little bag that I carry, my little juicy, smells like juicy. This is one of the ones that I carry in my purse. That's why I carry big purses. And now that I'm back in, in a vehicle, I have my big one that even though I leave, because I live off the grid, the closest town is eight, eight, eight hours. <laughs> it feels like it. Eight miles away. The only thing they got going there is one little titty, teeny, one little tiny grocery store and four gas stations that they all fighting for the prices. So, um, yeah, I live off grid. So when I leave home, I leave as if I'm going on a journey because to get to the the nearest town or city is um, 55 miles about 55 miles and so I have to carry everything as if if I don't come back because sometimes I just don't sometimes I get so tired from the fibro from the drive and so much pain that I'll just find somebody's house and say I'm on my way so it's closer there than to come back home and I always keep a bag of clothes in the car change of clothes and all that stuff stays in the car now I don't have to carry it with me every time I go in and out but this little bag here is one of my um, private parts, personal care bag, if you want to say it. And in here, I have a hemp feminine cream that I got offline, off Amazon. I don't know why it won't. Trust me, it says hemp. It's a hemp feminine cream. And I cannot even... I'm waiting on my new glasses. I can't read it. But it came off, off of Amazon. It's Miss Bud's brand. So it's a little cream that you, you know, put down there. And it, it's okay. It's not going to burn you. It's not going to irritate you uh, to help with the pain and the irritation. It's like a CBD cream. And also in here is I have a little thing of hydrocodas on that I put down down there also just to make sure that i'm doing my part to keep clean throughout the day i have these vagicil wipes one is uh it's for sensitive skin i think one is lilac no spring lilac and this one is peach because i just wanted to feel like a georgia peach so i have some of these in here and then i also have now, mind you, this goes some hand sanitizers because you got to be able to wipe your hands. Also, have these Vagisil's medicated uh, anti itch wipes. Now, these are good for you know because when the pain comes, then you just want to you, you want to touch it because it hurts, and then it starts to itch. So this helps with the itch. Told y'all we been wrong, we, brother. If you on here listening, you you. You need to know what you're doing. What you're doing is you're causing a lasting pain. This, 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 this monster I'm dealing with has been since 1990, and it, the pain first hit me after I came out of Desert Storm, and then it hit again, probably 2017 after my mom died. My mom died March the sixth. 2017 tomorrow will be five years the day after she died is when that pain said i'm back and that pain came with a vengeance and it sent me to the er and again they want to treat for the std i'm like you're about to be fired you you can be replaced so i've fired several doctors because one doctor even had the gall to tell me well we just don't listen you're gonna listen to me because you're fired so I go and I complain and I get another doctor. But this is a Vagisil Sensitive Skin Anti-Itch Cream. It also helps me with the pain. 
because the pain is is to try to calm down the nerves because the nerves the nerve ending down there from being um so what he did he waited till we got to germany to try all this stuff because if he'd have tried this stuff before we left the germ for germany number one i wouldn't have went number two uh i'd have, I'd have got out the military just to get away from him and uh he tried that after we got all the way to germany because he knew there was an ocean between me and my family but I had a ram in the bush over there. God always gives you a ram in the bush. And uh, I carry uh, these Preparation H wipes because sometimes um, the pain of being violated every day until the day they put me in handcuffs because they couldn't find him was the day I made up my mind it's time to go. And um, it happened if I was five minutes late coming home from work. I'm in the Army. You don't control the clock. And so if I was five minutes late, I got thrown to the floor, stripped, and inspected violently. And uh, when they held me because they couldn't find him at the police station in a cell, I knew then it was time to get out. So, pain came back with a vengeance after my mom died. This is another thing that I used to calm the pain down. It's uh, a little container I got that I put coconut oil in, and I keep this with me at all times. And um, these things pretty much are for down there. It ain't nothing in this bag for any other part of my body than for down there. And I got hand sanitizers in this big one. So this one stays in my purse. I just tried this. I just started these. Low Love Vaginal Itch Relief. Because uh, it also helps with the pain. Because you can... When those nerve endings, because you got to be careful what you put down there because, you know, it is your raw area. So you got to find something that's not going to make you scream because I have put some stuff woo, that made me holler for Jesus. But I'm still finding stuff. I just started this a couple days ago. Uh, it has the pH va uh, balance relief in it. So it also helps with calming my nerves down. This is personally for me. I know it says vaginal itch relief, but it helps calm those nerves down because my doctor, my neurologist said you got some nerve damage down there. Okay, thank God I ain't having no more babies. Now what I found today, first time ever, was this. This is the pink box. Now you can find cortisone, any day of the week, anywhere. I seen it on online. I think Amazon or eBay or something. Etsy, eBay or Amazon. Same price. I looked in there today. They had this. The pink box is red and it's pink. They have the yellow, the orange, the green, the blue, and all that color. But when you're dealing with us down there, you need pink. So I got two of these. And also today I got some more of these water wipes, which are baby wipes, but these are the adult care. These are the ones that's made out of 99% water. Bit pricey. This pack was $9. There's three in there, three individual packs for a total of 90 And it's, it's it, to me, they're real sensitive on my skin. So they don't, they don't cause no irritation. And also in here, I have some tissue, toilet tissue, because you go in places, there's no toilet paper, some body wipes. So I have two bags to go. And then my big bag, let me hurry up, I have toilet seat covers, some more toilet paper, because I tell you, this one goes with me everywhere I go, but it stays in the car. This here is another soothing to calm the nerves down, almost like my um, 
coconut oil, but this one has soothing lavender. This this works okay. Then I have a CBD freeze on relief gel. You can't put that down there, but I get it as close as I can because I don't want to create no monster other than the monsters already going on. This is something for my feet. Another roll of toilet paper. I ain't playing with that toilet paper. This here is a Miss Bud's Hemp Feminine Wash. Haven't had to use that yet. Haven't because I live off the grid. I don't have running water. I don't have electricity. Um, but when I travel, I use that. Whew. Some narco hydro and Tylenol threes and Tylenol fours all in there, baby. This is some feminine powder. Yeah, the feminine powder from CVS. Another CBD freeze. I get it as close as I can without touching those intimate parts. They do have these pain relief gels that shake in a heart. Uh, these are the ones for menopause, I think. They do have the ones for people on their period. I haven't had a period in over 25 years. So uh, I put this, when I first found these, I was in Mississippi. And I wanted to try it. So I bought like three boxes. It was $13 a box. So I bought it and uh, I put it on my thigh, right there in the inner thigh, as close as I can get it so that the pain could hit me. And before then, I was using the lidocaine patch. I would cut it. Put half on one side and half on the other side without touching that area. Because, you know, you didn't, I didn't know what's in it. I know I didn't want to touch it. Here's some or, um, lidocaine ointment. I use that as close as I can get to the area to numb that area. All these pains and patches and all this stuff came before all this stuff that I just bought today. Some more personal cleansing pads. Because you don't want to just... Um, and I know what set the flare off this time around coming back from Georgia. Uh, I typically do not travel wearing colored underwear. And I forgot. And I had on colored underwear. And by the time I realized I had on some colored underwear, the pain had kicked in. I typically don't travel wearing like blue jeans or anything. So I have to have something free flowing and white underwear so that I don't, because I'm sitting constantly a lot, so I don't get irritated. But I messed up on that time and created this monster on this round. Also today, the last thing I got was this called Perineal Packs. I, I don't even know what's in here, but it was in that section. So it says it relieves yeast infection, perineal discomfort, perineal is down there, postpartum pain, hemorrhoids, post-hair removal, post-surgery, inter internal cystitis. And so what I'm thinking it is, it has a bag in it, a two-block terry sleeve, and two gentle packs. I think it's a hot pad and a cold pad. So I, I took the tape off and I opened it up and I saw the pink pink ribbons, and the bag. So, I don't even know what's in this bag. I just bought it. Because, like I say, the, this Walmart is 49 miles away. I wasn't finna go back. So, I, better to get it and it don't work than to not get it and wish I had a guy to then not need to get up in the middle of the night and go back to try to find it. But it says, gentle pack, stay soothed. So, I'm going to have to put this in the freezer. Oh, okay. So this is the pack. You see that stuff moving? So I'm going to have to put it in the freezer. And then I guess you stick it in this sock. Yeah, it goes in this sock. Down there like that. And I'm assuming you just lay it there. <laughs> That's going to be my new boo. Or... You can use it as a heating pad. There's the second one. Or you can use it as a heating pad. Well, I don't have a microwave, so I can't use it as a heating pad. So it's going to have to be an ice pack, which is good for my uh, heat waves.
Yeah, so hot. Okay, you don't need a microwave. Shut up, girl. Immerse pack into boiling water for about four minutes until desired temp is reached. Place into terry cloth pouch and apply to affected area. On the cold, you put it in the freezer. It should be in the freezer for 60 minutes, not all night. Okay, so hot or cold, this should work. Because um, I did DIY some of these things. Uh, yeah, I, I went to the dollar store. This was how desperate I was. I went to the dollar store and bought some condoms about three years ago. Bought, bought a box of condoms, filled it up with water, put it in the uh, freezer, and laid it there. I put on a second pair of underwear, put it in between the underwear so it can calm those nerves down. Child, because I was having them high flashes, that frozen badgie pop, I called it, went from frozen to water in 20 minutes because of my hot flashes. So I'm going to see if this going to work. It better work because it was $13. So this is my, um, what's in my private parts pair now peri care uh bag care down there whatever you want to call it it's for care down there bag and that's what we got in this bag this one and this one always on the go you got to stay ready you got to stay protected i'm still a work in progress trying to figure out how this is y'all just don't know I, I let you in my closet tonight I let you I let you all the way in the closet to deal with some personal private pain and the things that I'm doing to try to combat it because I know I'm not the only one. There are millions of women dealing with this right now and doctors think we're crazy. When I went to the fib for the fibro, they kept saying, Oh, you're just crazy. There's nothing wrong with you. And I think I did that like ten years before they finally gave me a diagnosis. Is the doctors they, they think you're crazy, but you're not crazy. Like I said, we talk about everything on this channel. So if this is your first time here, girl. Welcome. If you're dealing with something and it's private to you and it's personal, it ain't nothing you did that would cause this. This this stuff just creeps up on you. What I learned there are some men that have this, and I've learned that bicycle riders it triggers it. Um, and I noticed that when I went to physical therapy twice in the last seven years, it triggered it. Uh, so I, I want a bike. I just, I, I had a bicycle. I want to get another bicycle, but I'm scared to get on a bicycle, which means I really need to buy a bicycle and just beat this. Cause I'm not the kind to just sit down and just take life. Let, a, let life give me a licking and keep on ticking. No, I fight back. I'm a warrior and you're a warrior too and you will win if you don't give up so with that being said uh, if something was said or not said and you have questions I'm not a doctor I'm not trying to diagnose nobody I can't diagnose nobody if I could I'd diagnose myself <laughs> I'd been to diagnose myself but I'm just sharing with you some of the things that I'm doing to combat the pain down there uh, so if this video has helped you in any kind of way or you know somebody struggling with something like that, uh, leave me a comment. Send me your email if you don't want to leave the comment below and we can discuss it that way. We can figure this out together, okay? So until next time, y'all have a blessed evening. God bless you.